Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite ob and I would like to welcome you to episode 188 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. So what's been going on with you since we last met? I've got to tell you, this past weekend, we participated in the Women's March here in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and it was an amazing experience. I was not able to venture to the larger cities, i.e. D.C. or New York City, which is just up the way from me, because I was on call the previous 24 hours and I had office hours uh, the following morning, i.e. the Saturday of most of the marches. But as soon as I was done, in the office, I hightailed it down to Asbury Park, right on the boardwalk of the Jersey Shore, and participated in the march. And it was such an amazing turnout. Love, love, love seeing women, men, grandparents, moms, aunts, sisters, children, just everyone out there for women's rights. It was an amazing experience and one that I was super duper happy to be able to share with my own girl, specifically my wife and our young daughter. Uh, my little girl was seeing the events on TV and she looked at me and she said, mommy, we did that. And I said, you know what? We sure did. We certainly did that. So let's jump into uh, some interesting things that I've been doing lately, which brings me to today's podcast topic. Jade Eggs, yet another product brought to us via Gwyneth Paltrow and her goop magazine. And this is right in line with vaginal steaming and laser treatment for your vagina. Both of those things feel really good, right? So not. So this jade egg, what flipping nonsense. It claims to restore hormonal balance, increase orgasm, strengthen pelvic floors, decrease uterine prolapse, I mean, the list of what this egg does goes on and on, all for the great and amazing price of either $55 or $65. And I think they're actually sold out on the website. Go flipping figure. I'm not a huge proponent of this. Why? Because it's not necessary. You all know what I tell you about your vaginas. They're self-cleaning ovens. They are do-it-yourself organs. This jade egg, a bunch of shenanigans. I certainly would not promote this, but I'll tell you what I do think this egg could certainly promote infection, vaginitis, bacterial vaginosis, anyone? Any foreign body in your vagina is going to lead to what? Unwanted discharge. Do you know how many women I see on a daily basis for unwanted discharge? You use this egg and I guarantee you I'm going to be seeing you in my office. I just think it's really unfortunate that you have folks that know nothing about female anatomy or physiology that are putting out these projects and th- these products and saying that they are the end all be all and we as women are buying them really don't do it save your money that's pretty much all i have to say about this jade egg the only way i want my eggs are either over easy and some french toast or perhaps in an omelet with uh, cheese perhaps some bacon sausage you know something that I'm going to eat. Shape.com actually recently asked me about this jade eggs and I, I share it with them exactly what I just shared with you. So that's, that's really the topic for today's podcast. Those jade eggs, don't waste your money. You can maintain your vagina via lifestyle, healthy eating, and exercise. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode of the Ask Dr. Angel podcast. You know, I love you, love you, love you. And I continue uh, to appreciate all of your love and support. And we've got questions coming in from all over the place. You're direct messaging me through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, email, and I love it. Just a quick reminder, uh, coming in February, for those of you that follow the podcast, you are going to need to resubscribe. 
So come February, if you are a subscriber, you're going to need to resubscribe to the podcast. And that's just because we're making some technical changes to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. So I will continue to keep you updated on that. Remember, if you have a question or topic that you would like featured on the podcast, you can go to www.askdrangela.com. That's A-N-G-E-L-A.com. That's where you are going to find all of my social media venues, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can certainly direct message me there, or you can shoot me an email. Make sure you are also tuning into our YouTube channel where we are featuring one-minute segments of hot facts and topics that we think you need to know about. In closing, I'd like to thank you for tuning into today's podcast, and I'd like to leave you with this. Remember, never neglect the little things. Why? Because little things mean a lot. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Can't wait to reconnect on episode 189 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional. Listening to and participating in this podcast does not create a doctor-patient relationship between you and Dr. Angela Jones. If you need medical advice or assistance, you should consult a physician. Listening to and participating in this podcast is subject to the terms and conditions posted at askdrangela.com terms.